In this tutorial, we learn about first or default single, first and single or default extension methods available on an I enumerable. Use first or default for finding the first element that matches a condition. It returns the default value if no matching records exist. First does the same thing but throws an exception instead. Single or default returns the default value if exactly one record cannot be found. There is one more called find also, which should be used only if the search has to be made by a primary key value. Start by creating a C-sharp console project for the latest version of .NET Core. Open the solution explorer and then open the program.cs file. Let's add code to this file. And uh, since we are learning a tutorial, we can create a list of anonymous types. The dynamic keyword can be used to specialize a list for anonymous types. We have added four items to this list. LeQ provides two methods, first or default and first, for querying the first element that satisfies a condition. The condition is expressed with a lambda expression that returns a boolean. And let's use the first or default method to obtain the first item that has its code equal to QCM. The first matching element will be obtained in the variable called item. And uh, the console right line method displays the item using two string method. Notice that we have written item question mark dot to string instead of item dot to string because the first or default method returns the default value if there is no matching candidate. The default value of a reference type is null, so the null conditional operator question mark dot has been used as a safety guard. The question mark dot operator prevents member access if null is returned. So it prevents the failure of your program. We can now run the program to verify that the first matching record is indeed printed. And next let's come to first. This method differs from first or default in only one respect. It throws an exception if a matching element cannot be found. It doesn't return a null or default value, it throws an exception that must be caught with a try-catch guard. And uh, we can now use first to query for an element that doesn't exist. In this case, there will be a runtime exception and we can run the project to verify that the program crashes with an exception. Single or default and single are two more similar looking functions. They return an element only if there is exactly one match. Single or return, single or default returns the default value if there is no matching record or if there are multiple matching records. The single function however throws an exception under these conditions. And this is about single, single or default, first and first or default. Thank you.